Hello everybody and welcome back to Vladis Place. Since my childhood I wanted to become a beekeeper, so recently I've received my first colony of bees. I am totally an experienced beekeeper and in this particular case I was also unprepared. As you can see the only thing that I had was a box and five frames. There is, however, so much more to know and to learn. And although I am not prepared properly, this is not a reason for me not to attempt to be a beekeeper. And so this series of videos is here to share with you some of the lessons I learned and struggles I, I faced. Here. Um, I put the stones so in case they fall in, they could um, climb up, get dry and leave again. I'm setting this dish under a tree with the automatic sprinklers so the dish will be refilled every other day. Coyotes will probably come and drink all this water. Since the colony came without the honeycomb, I knew that I needed to provide food. So I started with a dish of honey and uh, soon I found out that I needed to provide sugar water for them. And this is a little a bird feeder or bird water dish actually that I provided sugar water in. Soon bees were swarming all around it and before you know it they were pushing on each other and some of the bees were getting inside a dish and getting drowned. So this definitely did not work. So I went back online to find out what was the quickest and the cheapest and uh, also effective way to temporarily feed the bees. Since I'm making a transfer in the month of October, bees don't have as much as nectar uh, in the surrounding area, so I have to make sure that they are fed soon. So for now, I was just checking the hive to make sure the bees are settling in, and it appears that they are. Now, um, I have plenty of fruit trees in my yard. There are over 150 fruit trees, and some of that is citrus but I can't wait till the springtime to feed these bees. So I came up with the next best thing. A jar feeder definitely works. One downfall of that is that it will attract a lot of wasps and ants. This makes a perfect emergency feeder for the bees. So the trick is uh, you are gonna just make very small holes on the lid of a jar so that water does not escape, but yet the bees can, can feed through it. The ratio of sugar and water is one to one, and you have to make sure that you position your jar so that bottom of it is accessible to bees. Another helpful suggestion is not to leave the jar on the top of the box, which I did initially, and I quickly learned that this was attracting ants and it was attracting wasps close to the to bees. So I have removed uh, jars a few feet away, so this way the bees could uh, stay safe and they could still feed right next to the box. I hope this helps. For additional suggestions, check out the online YouTube videos. There are plenty out there. For now, thank you for watching and I will see you soon again.